was the top news headlines. Manipur celebrates Republic Day amid tight security. Five blast rock Assam on Republic Day. Arun Jetli Susma Swaras, Maricom among 141 Padma Awards recipients. Good evening and welcome to Times of Manipur. Times of Manipur wishes everyone a very happy Republic Day. This is Suresh Kungban Tabung giving you the news, now the news in detail. Manipur celebrated the 71st Republic Day today amid tight security. The function was inaugurated by State Governor Dr. Nazma Heptullah by unfurling the tricolor at the historic Kangla in Imphal. Chief Minister and Birin, MLAs and a host of officials attended the function. Sarang Them Asana MPS was the commander of the Republic Day parade of 118 contingents. Governor Dr. Nazma Haptula took salute of the Grand Parade. Eleven police personnel were conferred medals on the occasion. Zamandar Mohammad Giazuddin of 7th IRB, MPS Suresh Thapa, Commanding Officer of 1st Manipur Rifles as Sarachandra Singh of 3rd IRB, Additional Sub-Inspector L. Devishore K. Brozen Singh, Kual Thian Thang Waifei and Havaldar A. Bhoman Sharma were conferred the President's Police Medal for Distinguished Service. Union Home Minister's Medal for Excellence in Police Training was conferred on Havildar Y. Guneshwar Singh, the Matthew Maring of Manipur Police Training Centre, MPTC, and Y. Sundar Singh of Revalidated Force Goal RFG. <laughs> The Republic Day was celebrated in Manipur amidst general strike call given by different underground groups to boycott the event. The dawn to dust strike evoked total response. However, no untoward incidents were reported. District Administration Imphal is celebrated 71st Republic Day 2020 today at the State Institute of Rural Development Complex, Porompat. Altogether, 16 contingents took part in the parade. Additional District Magistrate Imphal East Syed Ahmed President took salute of the smart contingents. This was the 23rd Republic Day celebration in the district. Rajya Sainik Board Manipur also celebrated Republic Day at the Board Office Complex, Lumphail. Chief Guest of the Function, Education Minister T. H. Radhesham said that the nation recognizes the role of the people in their effort to protect the civilization, culture, tradition and the land. Radhesham also lauded the efforts and contribution of ex-servicemen. The minister assured that the government would take up steps to build rest house for ex-servicemen in every district of the state. Jati, Karamba, community that belong to our Kari, Dharma Chatpa, Sula Lita, Akwegi Dharma Di, Akwegi Duty Sine, Adana, we have to defend, we have to protect our great civilization, our tradition, culture, Adu, Akwegi Levaks, Machet, Makai, we are, and Kanakwada, Akwegi Mani Puri contributions, a Bharat Nayam Chong, and recognize them. Mariba, Taki Hena, Hanba first, I was Akwe, Iriba, Maru, Oyai, Ima, Sing, Iriba, and Adum, the Katokum, Badumba, Mikaya, Mamani Puri Lady. Amid tightened security for Republic Day celebration, serial blasts rocked Upper Assam this morning. Even as the state, along with the notice, an entire nation is celebrating the 71st Republic Day, serial blast in Assam has raised serious questions on the security mechanism. In Dibrugar, 
two low intensity explosions took place near Astha Hospital and at 80 Road near Gurudwara today morning. According to reports, similar bomb blasts took place in Dulaizan, Dumduma and Sonari. Meanwhile, security forces have reached the blast spots and started investigation. Notably, Ulfa I has carried out similar blasts during Republic Day and Independence Day celebrations on earlier occasions. Like every year, this year also the Ulfa I has called for boycott of Republic Day celebration. Though no one has claimed responsibility for the explosions, it is presumed that these bomb blasts on Republic Day were carried out by Ulfa I. Through these explosions, the banned militant outfit seems to have asserted their presence in Eastern Assam. Meanwhile, Amitai security in Imphal city for the Republic Day celebration, Imphal West District Police today recovered a high-intensity improvised explosive device, i.e. the on the bank of Imphal River at Singzamai Waikumlikai. According to a report, the police on receiving reliable information, a police commando team led by SDPO Bidyapati Thingbaizam rushed to the site around 2 p.m. when they detected a remote control IED weighing around 3 kg. Later, a police bomb disposal squad arrived at the scene and defused the bomb. No group has claimed responsibility. Former Central Ministers Arun Jetli, Susma Suarez and George Fernandez have been posthumously awarded Padma Vibhushan, India's second highest civilian honour, the Ministry of Home Affairs announced on Saturday. Former Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikkar has been given Padma Vibhushan, the third highest civilian award. All the four BJP stalwarts had died last year. This year's Padma Awards list includes seven Padma Vibhushan, 16 Padma Bhushan and 118 Padma Shri Awards, fourth highest civilian honor, the statement said. Adding 31 of the, 34 of the awardees are women. Olympic medal winner boxer MC Mericom has been given Padma Vibhushan. Badminton star PV Sindhu has been conferred Padma Bhushan. Renowned classical singer from Varanasi, Channulal Mishra is among the Padma Vibhushan awardees, whereas playback singer Suresh Wadkar has been awarded the fourth highest civilian honor. Bollywood personalities Karan Johar, Itta Kapoor and Kangana Ranaut are among the Padma Sri awardees. 18 people from the category of foreigners, NRI, PIO, OCI have also been awarded. Mauritius Prime Minister Anirudh Gugnod has got the second highest civilian honor. District Administration Kakching also celebrated 71st Republic Day at District Sports Association DSA Playground Kakching. Deputy Commissioner Kakching Valentina Arambam attended the program. Subdivisional Police Officer Sugnu Amakcham Devananda took part as the parade commander. Around 27 contingents took part in the Republic Day parade. Certificates of appreciation were presented to the outstanding employees under District Administration Department, Office Bearers of Kakching Municipal Council and District Police personnel. Councillors, Jilla Parishad members, Pradhans, Superintendent of Police Yenkhom Victoria and other officials attended also the event. <laughs> The 71st Republic Day was celebrated at Lilong SDO office complex located at Hangam Thabi of Thawal district under the aegis of Subdivisional Administration Lilong. Subdivisional Officer Mohammad Jiu Rahman, Lilong Gram Panchayat Pradhan, councillors, work members, high ranking civil and police officials, ex servicemen attended the program. Members of local clubs and organizations were also present during the function. <laughs> Thaubal District Administration also organized the 71st Republic Day celebration at Chao Yai Mahaya Secondary School Ground Thaubal. Deputy Commissioner Thaubal District and Bandana unfurled the tricolor. Subdivisional Police Officer Thaubal K. Dhananjoy was the parade commander and Bandana took salute of 52 contingents comprising of school students, police, NCC, ex-servicemen, clubs and cultural troops. As part of the event, 96 outstanding government employees including police personnel of Thaubal District were presented with certificates of appreciation. 
अध्यक्ष या जिला परिषद मेंबर्स चेयरपर्सन ऑफ म्यूनिसिपल काउंसिल काउंसिलर्स वार्ड मेंबर्स एंड प्रधान अलॉन्ग विद सुप्रिंटेंडेंट ऑफ पुलिस डॉक्टर एस इबोमचा अदर टॉप पुलिस ऑफिशियल्स टू पार्ट इन दिस सेलिब्रेशन Bisnupur District Administration also celebrated Republic Day at All Mini Secretary Complex Ground Bisnupur. The event started with Deputy Commissioner Nita Arambam unfurling the tricolor. District Superintendent of Police Priya Darshini Lishram, Manipur Pollution Control Board Chairman and Oinam MLA L Radha Kishore, former Minister K H Pulin Kanta, Additional Superintendent of Police Law and Order Louis Kham Lamio, Additional Superintendent of Police Operations K S A S Shiv Kanta, Chairman Bisnupur Municipal Council L Maniyama were present during the function. 18 contingents comprising of Bisnupur District Police, Village Defence Force. Asha workers, Anganwadi workers, school students participated in the parade. Nita Arambam took salute of the parade. The program also witnessed cultural shows and short plays on the theme "Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao." Certificates of appreciation and cash prizes were also presented to government employees in recognition of their good performance on the occasion. Nita Arambam said that various government-sponsored welfare schemes for the public are also implemented in Bisnupur district. She also conveyed her best wishes to the public of the occasion and urged for a peaceful and harmonious life. विष्णुपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट की कोई नसों लंदन में सी सफल नवोदित अमर मखल के आगे वेलफेयर एंड डेवलपमेंटल स्कीम्स अमरसों प्रोग्राम सिंग भारत सरकार अमरसों मणिपुर सरकार ना पाइथर ली उक्रल डिस्ट्रिक्ट आल्सो सेलिब्रेटेड दिस 71 रिपब्लिक डे एट पकासी ग्राउंड हुंगपम उक्रल Altogether, 23 contingents comprising of students and security personnel took part in the Republic Day Parade. This celebration began after District Deputy Commissioner Joseph Paulin Kamsan unfurled the tricolor. This celebration witnessed performance by Hunpum Cultural Dance Troupe and Dance Troupe of Kendriya Vidyalaya students, besides a display by the National Disaster Squad. Ukrul Central School backed the first position of the parade while Little Angel English School and Scholars Pakshimi High School secured the second and third position respectively. Commander for 6th Battalion of Rifles is warming. This 71st Republic Day was celebrated at the Jiribam District Headquarters under the aegis of Jiribam District Administration. Deputy Commissioner of Jiribam W. Malim Nganba Chengli unfurled the Indian tricolor on the occasion. A colorful mass past drill parade was taken out by contingents from RK Sanatomi Devi Vidyalaya campus up to Jiribam High Secondary School playground. The parade was led by Subdivisional Police Officer Jiribam District Thangzam Sanatomba, 32 contingents comprising of police personnel, VDF, 87 battalion CRPF, 7th IRB, schools, colleges and cultural dance troops took part in the Republic Day Parade. At the event, W. Malim Nganba Chengli said, we should remember all the freedom fighters. Tengnopal District Administration also celebrated the 71st Republic Day at Tengnopal Government High School ground in Tengnopal District Headquarter. District Deputy Commissioner Mayang Lambam Rajkumar, Superintendent of Police T.S. Vikramjit, 43 Assam Rifles Commandant, More ADC members and officials of different departments attended the celebration. As a part of the occasion, D.C. Rajkumar unfurled the national flag. Different contingents of school students, police, Assam Rifles and ASHA workers took part in the Republic Day Parade. Additional Superintendent of Police M. Amit was the parade commander. Alongside, cultural programs were also showcased during the celebration. Certificates and traditional souls were distributed to officials of different departments, village chief and leaders of social organizations on the occasion. Addressing the function, DC Mayang Lambam Rajkumar highlighted on a slew of developmental activities taken up by the state government. 
He explained that Technopol was met a district in 2016 considering its importance for Ag East policy and for the betterment of its residents. He also underlined on the need of building a mini secretariat for the district. Department Singsigi interconnected with NCE Hairagadi. We should also dream every district take away. Yes, DC office like a SP office like a department putting my keys, office like a Office Singsigu couldn't have done by Abagi. At over platform D, a quick mini secretary, Umbama quick Purupunga Nanova Sequay, Target Togadavni, Honagadavni, Mini Secretary Dama, a technical district in a Purupa Taragadi. Each and every department, district has the function to raise a sea, Masiakway, Puna, Amaga Amaga, or Pogo Pogent or Erega Tabokto Miller, but they have no Iba, Potomo Erekani. District Council Administration, Autonomous District Council, ADC Chandel also celebrated Republic Day today at ADC Chandel Office Complex. ADC Chandel Chairman Diringo Lamkang hosted the Indian Tricolor and wished the masses on the occasion. ADC Chandel Vice Chairman S. Tongpao Mate, Executive Members, ADC Chandel Chief Executive Officer and several others were present at the occasion. A football exhibition match was played as a part of the celebration. India celebrated its 71st Republic Day today. This celebration at Rajput started with Prime Minister Narendra Modi paying homage to the fallen soldiers at the newly built National War Memorial on the Republic Day for the first time instead of the Anwar Jawan Jyoti beneath the India Gate Arch. This was followed by President Ramnath Kovin unfurling the tricolor. The occasion marks the day when India's constitution came into effect and the country became a republic. Heavy lift helicopter Chinook and attack helicopter Apache, both recently inducted in the Indian Air Force, took part in the Republic Day fly past for the first time today. The Chinooks can airlift diverse loads in remote locations. The entire national capital has been put under a multi layered ground to air security cover with thousands of armed personnel keeping a tight vessel over it. Brazilian President Jair Macias Bolsonaro, who was the chief guest for the Republic Day celebrations, was accorded the ceremonial guard of honor at the Rastrapati Bhavan by President Kovin and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The government fishery farm located near Kuthikong Pukri under Dibong Kuna village of Jiribam district has remained neglected by the concerned department. Kutikong Pukri serves as one of the most important sources of fish for Jiribam residents, but the fish pond has been turned into a fishing site for the locals now. Talking to Tom TV, Jiribam fishery officer M. Manichan Singh said that the fishery farm is facing shortage of staff, shortage. Meanwhile, the newly appointed director of the department has a shot of solving the issues soon. <laughs> On the other hand, General Secretary of Yaifa Club, Lamzing Club, Dibong Kuno H. Priyananda Singh told Tom TV that most of the fishery farms under the fishery department are now in pathetic condition due to long-time negligence, resulting in failure of the department to supply fish to the public during festive occasions. He urged the concerned authority to look into the matter immediately. <laughs> Indigenous People's Association of Kangle Park Ipak conveyed best wishes to the students of 
classes 10 and 12 who are appearing board examination 2020. IPAG in a release also appealed to all to stop organizing entertainment programs from January 31st to February 18th in view of the upcoming exams. Let's now have the sports news. <coughs> in sports today, Making a winning start at the Australian Open, veteran Leander Pace reached a mixed double second round with partner Jelena Ostapenko while Rohan Bopanna progressed to the quarterfinals today. Pace is competing in his last Australian Open, having announced that 2020 is, in, is his final year on the pro circuit. They will next face American Bethany Metag Sands and Britain Jamie Murray, who knocked out top seeds. Marcelo Melo and Borbora Strekova 3-6, 6-4, 10-7 six, in their opening round. Pace and Ostopenko, the 2007 French Open champion, erase a one-set deficit to age out local wildcards and trans Storm Sanders and Mark Pullman's 6-7, six, 6-3, 10-6 six, six in the opening round which lasted 1 hour and 27 minutes. Bopanna and his Ukrainian partner Nadia Kinsnok defeated the team of Nicole Melichur and Bruno Sowers 6-4-7-6 in their second round. Before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the top news headlines once again. Manipur celebrates Republic Day amid tight security. Five Blast Rock Assam on Republic Day. And Arun Jetli Susma Swara's Mary Com among 141 Padma Awards recipients. Well, that's all for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur and have a great night.